play a more aggressive game here with the minus cards. Um, plus three to hit to end it, might as well. We could end a turn. Nah. Shoot for the goal. One nil. Twenty-one. Uh, what do we do? Do we risk it to get to a nineteen, or should we just take the defeat? <sighs> ah, I knew that was going to happen. The odds of winning on a nineteen are very slim. Oh my god. Oh, for God's sake. This is not good. We need a minor miracle. Natural 20 again. Wow, this is just ridiculous. We need... We, we can't win. It's impossible. Unless we... Unless we take a minus 3 and hope to hit a 2. Bust and gone. 3-1. Swept aside like yesterday's trash. Damn you. Best of three? I was just getting warmed up. Another set of crappy cards. Sixteen. Twenty-four. Wow, we can't even really do anything with that now. I'm just going to have to... Bust! I think I've been conned here. 25. Wow, my God. I hate it when you get lots of negative cards here. I prefer the plus cards. At least you know what you're working with. 22. Okay. Alright, we got one back. Come on, we can do it. It's an uphill battle, but... Don't get oh my god, he's had another natural twenty. What the earth can you do against it? Apart from get your own. Let's keep going. Ah I can't use more than one card. Oh, you're joking. Okay, I've had enough of this. Get lost! If I play anymore, I'm going to end up slicing your head off. And that's not going to make for good viewing. So, is that the extent of the Pazak? Somehow I don't feel like it is. I think there's more to this Pazak than we see I, especially with this character. Considering we have a... Uh, oh no, you've got the S4C8 and you've got Goredi, brut brutally efficient player. Ah, I've stayed enough. As I say, I have a very sneaky suspicion that there is obviously a lot more to this Pazak thing than meets the eye. Perhaps the more you play with them, the higher the stakes go. Maybe something happens when you play more games with them. I don't know. But we're going there for a bit of fun. We've had our fun. Time to move on. Unless, of course, there's any more Pazak games in the cantina. Ah, remains of the twin sons. Pick them up while you can. Maybe we should have a drink before we go back off into our Ebon Hawk. The last hurrah. So, you have the look of a seasoned spacer about you. What bat was you looking for? Something with a kick, and it will help me sleep. <laughs> Anything interesting about the area? Well, honestly, there's not much for people like you and I to do around here. If you uh, catch my meaning. I think I understand. Explain yourself, then. Well, there is plenty for them to do. The Pazak Den, Swoop Races, the Jek Jek Tar, they're pretty much taken care of. Uh, I've been to all those places, cleaned them out. Hmm. Holy oh, leap of 
patrons, vulgar thugs. I think we've not really missed it, missed out on much coming here last. Seems to be rather dull. Entertainment quarters, whatever it's called, entertainment promenade. Hmm. I've had more entertainment watching paint dry. Anyhow, come. Time to get off this godforsaken planet. We've been here for far too long. I really wish I could just kill random people, because he would just drop right now. He, I paid him the credits, he told me he would come with me with vital information, and what's Hatton doing? And he's not once approached me with anything remotely useful. I haven't heard anything more yet. God, there should be an option here just to strike him down. You're lucky. You're lucky, buddy. I want to flame and kill you by some reason. I'm compelled not to. Even though it was only what was, what was it? Five credits? Ten credits? It wasn't really a life-changing amount. It's the principle of the matter, though. One must have principles. So, to finish the session off, how long do I have? 40 minutes before. Command. You will talk. Defiant statement. What? There is nothing you can do to me. Do your worst. Agonized exclamation. charge of your circuits next time. Now, answer the question. Posturing statement. I will never talk. Statement. Then I will have to settle for your screams. That is one sick boy. <laughs> Does he think he is floating around the place? Think he's in charge here? Don't threaten my staff members. <laughs> Playing cat and mouse. <laughs> what is going on this ship? People just playing around like what? <laughs> She do, she's tormenting him. Betrayal. All thoughts of me will slide from your vision, from your mind, like water. You know who I am, but you will be unable to voice it, to remember it. What does a Jedi see? Only what I allow them to see.
Well, well, well. <laughs> Holy permissions that we've got on our active quest log now, all from Nashadell that we're never going to finish. Like, uh, sold to the huts, work for fuel. Seeking passage, play, carry, all those little things. <clears throat> but never mind. So as I was saying, I've got about 35 minutes now till the start of the Monaco Grand Prix, which I'm going to sit down and enjoy uh, watching before I go to work today. So uh, that should be enough time to go around my ship, speak with my com uh, companions, and then bring the session to a close. So uh, let's crack on, shall we? Starting with Visas. Visas. Oh, she's got a low energy. She injured. My life for yours. Ah, dear. I will answer what I can. My master did not cause the end. There are where they. Sorry, I clicked the wrong button. I will answer. Right. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think she answered this before but due to the influence failure. So I'm going to try and asking it again. Although I don't believe we've gained any influence since the last occasion. It is not something I speak. I didn't think so. Well, you said meditate, love. <clears throat> Enjoy yourself, won't you? I'll take you down to the next mission on Telos, and then I'll get to know you a bit better on planet side. Bowder, usually a man of few words. Let's see if he has anything to say. And he also has low energy. What is this about? Yes, General. A general? Never mind. Look, just nothing. I wonder if he's... Is he actually in the main game, or is he a, an extra content character? Because surely he would have more lines than this. HK? Query. Is there someone that you need killed, Master? Um, Possibly a few people, yes. I'll tell you about it later. <clears throat> what a strange question to ask a droid. Do you know what love is? <laughs> answer. Many organic meatbags find that question difficult to answer, Master. But I believe I can provide you with a satisfactory definition. Definition. Love is making a shot to the knees of a target 120 kilometers away <laughs> using an Aerotech sniper <laughs> rifle with a tri-light scope. Uh, yes, that sounds rather... Yes, could be, could be. Could be. <laughs> if that's the case, then I don't think I've ever been in love. <laughs> but no, that's not love. I'm not that callous. But I agree. There is a certain lethal charm in such a shot. Statement. This definition, I am told, is subject to interpretation. Obviously, love is a matter of odds. Not many meatbags could make such a shot. And strangely enough, not many meatbags would derive love from it. Yet for me, love is knowing your target, putting them in your targeting reticle, and together achieving a singular purpose against statistically long odds. Wow. That's deep. That's some deep stuff. Ah. But why is Shala talking of love all of a sudden? You gotta ask yourself that question. Statement. Uh, de -de 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 -de. What do you know? Do you know what love is? Do you. Um, yes! Influence prevented us, I'm sure, of him answering this question last time. So let's see if we've got enough influence with him now. Answer. Master, ironically enough, I seem to have developed a sudden consolation. Besides, you are a fine master. Do Aww. We'll work on it. So that's HK47 talk to. Yeah, something very simple. Still hard pondering about that definition of love. It's not a thing that you're going to find in any poetry book, but it's definitely... Uh, Something that she can relate to. Han ha! Better talk with him before he moves off somewhere else. He seems to be a mover, just like uh, T3M4. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I like you too. <laughs> this, my friend, is the face of power. And you will learn to respect it. Any more speaking out of turn, and my quarters could do with a new rug. Mm. 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 Mm.
right. Questions. Answer them. You actually take me for someone who actually gives a rat's behind what you think. Do not defy me. How, how do you know what love is? Well, I'm not going to ask a bloody walking fur bag what a love is. I don't value his opinion anyway. But Shalala's talking about love a lot now. What the hell is this all about? I heard you hunt humans. How do you hunt us? I may be human, but just serve me. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so. Uh... So you mentioned a life debt of some kind. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh dear. And why did you kill Mira? Uh, does she know this? I assume she does. She was weak behind her eyes. And what weakness about her made you want to kill her? Winding him up, I suppose. If Mira spared your life, it was likely to humiliate you. Rather than show mercy. Mm. These questions are... In fact, 